All right, this is part two. I'll talk for maybe 10 minutes. And I'll shut this camera up here because I'm tired. I am very, very tired. I am very, very tired. Obviously, right? Yeah. The actors will be movie stars, man, for Zanus. And my chosen director will be my star director. So if I choose Mel, who will be my star director. If I choose Peter, who will be my star director, obviously. You're going to see how boss they are, obviously, yeah. And once you see the behind the scenes of my documentary, it's finally going to hit your mind. Yeah, Ivan's company is even better than Hollywood. Yeah, you see you see my nice, beautiful property of land that I built. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you enter my land, there's a gate. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a gate around my land. There's this gate. You press the thing, and the gate opens. And you get. I'm gonna have a GPS. Welcome to Sky Source. When you enter the parking lot, it says Welcome to Sky Source. Something cool like that. You have. I have that. You know the Hollywood sign in 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 in, 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 in Hollywood. I'm gonna have the. Yeah, I want you building a sign exactly like that, except it says Sky Source Entertainment. That way everyone sees. I was at nighttime and lights up. The sign lights up. I have my beautiful parking lot, my nice studio office. You know what I'm saying? Peter Mel, Peter or Mel, Ivan, this is your land? I'm like, yeah, holy shit, this is nice. This is nicer than even all the Hollywood lots, Ivan, yeah. I have my studio office, my nice parking lot, my nice gardening work, the nice garden, the nice grass, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And in, that, in the next building, you have the special effects building. Where the special effects team work. You have like a parking lot, a massive, huge parking lot, and that and you can, and you have like what hundreds of trailers around that building. You know, how, you know when you go to the studio lots, they have trailers. They have parking lots. They have trailers all over the building. Yeah, you have a parking lot. And you have trailers all over the building, and like portable showers. We have to take a shower. Yeah, something nice like that. The special because the special people are gonna have to sleep, right? So you need to have trailers around that area. Then you keep going further, and you have a you have a mass, even bigger building, which is a game studio. You have a big, yeah, I want you guys building a big parking lot that can, that can park a good, like, a big parking lot that can fit hundreds of trailers, 300 plus trailers. Yeah, we can do that for you, Ivan. And they build this parking lot and it's surrounded by trailers. And that's where all the game two people are going to sleep, obviously, in the trailers. You have a portable shower for them, too. You don't need portable bathrooms for them because they can just use a, they use a bathroom in the building. I have a few portable bathrooms outside. Just in case when they see from the trailer and they want to take a piss at nighttime, they can take a piss. I have maybe a few of them, but like I'll have bathrooms in the game studio. As well as the special studio. The special studio building, I'm going to have bathrooms in there. So you have my docking area where I park my yacht. You have the area where I park my jet. So yeah, beautiful property line I'm going to own. It's going to be nice. You guys will find out how nice it is when you see... When you see the George Lucas documentary, you're going to see what my lab will look like. Because um, they're going to be filming the behind the scenes of me playing Scar of me playing Scar with George. You're going to see the model that, 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 that we create, the architectural model we create for my property of land. So you'll know what my lab will look like. And then whenever they have the reveal, whenever the property is built, I'm going to hire the doctor to film on me and his reaction. Obviously, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? This is so beautiful when we give you this. Uh, we, I, they film the tour. Of the property of land. They film the tour. Of the property of land. Yeah. They film the tour of the property of land. Something nice man. Yeah. Something really nice. They film the tour of the property of land. So is there. And holy shit. I he just. Yeah, all the Hollywood actors are like, Ivan, this is your land? I'm like, yeah, holy shit, this is nice. I'm like, yeah, yeah, man. I flew on Ivan's private. You're going to see in the documentary. Welcome. You know what I'm saying, take a seat. Enjoy your beer. You know what I'm saying, the actors are in the jet. They're, they drink beer. They have a good time. Holy shit, Ivan's company is top notch. The jet lands in my nice property. The normal driver takes into my office. They're all wild by my property. Holy shit, Ivan owns a high end company. Yeah. They enter my office. Like, holy shit, this is a nice office. Yeah. Man, Ivan's boss, man. Ivan Beach, you're a boss, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ivan's company is better than Hollywood. It is better than Hollywood. Higher paying work, better perks, everything. 
That's why Zayn's actually the Zayn's actually experienced worldwide fame for Zayn's man. Every time all the devils, you know, Peter and Mel, and I'm saying they experience that fame in me. The buzz of Ayrton and all the devils. You guys will see how scary Ayrton is once you see the trailer, man. Once you see the trailer of the, uh, you guys will know how scary Ayrton is when you watch the documentary, obviously. But once you once they start releasing the uh the the the, the, the teaser and extended trailers of the three volumes. You're going to know how scary Aerotet is. Like, holy shit, Aerotet's a devil. Yeah, he's a devil, man. They're part of that buzzing that worldwide. Man, that's why they're going to bang. Oh, Ivan, man, your copy's so top notch. I just want to work for you. And I was like, oh, guys, no, you're not good for the next movie. Sarah. You can bail you want. You're not good for the next movie, man. It's not fair to Michael Jordan. It's not fair to Keanu Reeves. Or whatever movie I do, right? It's not fair to them. So, Sarah. It is not fair to them. Yeah. It's not fair to them, sir. That's why you gotta be what? You gotta be strict with the actors. BJ, man, I know these actors and directors are gonna, and the crew are going to beg me, just, me and you to be signed. We have to be sure and say, no, they're not good for the next movie. BJ, I know they want to be in our Matrix movie or our Great Escape. They're not good for the movie. We have to be sure and say, no. Do not have filled to sympathy or empathy. We have to say, no, man. I know you want to be saved. I've saved you after five years. The journey ends. You get what you deserve. You're going to go back to Hallby. There is going to be left behind. You get what you deserve, man. And I launched your careers. Oh, yeah, even though we launched my careers, I mean, my career was meaningless. So I don't want to work in Hollywood. I don't want to work for you. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not gonna sign the same actors. You can't be selfish. The value you want, I'm not saving you for the great escape or the major. Most likely the great, I'm not saving you for the great escape. It's not fair to Keanu Reeves and Scarlet and Ben, man. They they want to be saved too. It's not just about you. They were left behind. They felt like shit during the five years of Zanus. The the movies were side hinge, and now they want to be saved. Give them an opportunity. I mean, they're already successful in Hollywood. That's not the point. The point is they want to be saved. They want to experience this fame in their life too. It's not just about you. You have to think about others, man. But they don't care because they're they're blinded by 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 what by by them wanting to be saved. Oh, Ivan, please, man, I don't want to go. Some of my cry. Ivan, please, I don't want to go back to Hollywood. I can't stand Hollywood. Ivan, it's not your company. I'm like, guys, no, you're not good for the Great Escape. You're not good for the Matrix, man. Especially for the Matrix. Oh, Ivan, I want to put you in that Matrix trilogy. I'm like, guys, you're not good for the Matrix. Please, Ivan, I want to. Ivan, VJ, please, I want to put you in that Matrix trilogy. Ivan, please, man. I'm like, guys, you're not good for the movie. I don't, I'm not hiring the same actors, man. You know what I'm saying? But they don't care. I mean, please, I want to be in that Matrix show. I'm like, guys, you're not good for the Matrix. You're not good at all. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? They're going to beg, obviously. But they experience that worldwide fame for Xanus. I'm not going to think about the greatest thing for the Matrix now. That's way down the road. Right now, my focus is on Xanus. Xanus is in the, now, in four years from now, four years from now, I'll be hired working the office with VJ, working on Xanus. <laughs> With Peter Ramel. It's not far away, guys, and you're taking me for granted, man. Because once I'm hanging on peace and hell my wife, and you're left behind, you're not safe. I'm not saying that. So, Sarah. To end it off here, Mel will even tell me, yeah, Ivan, if I hire him over you, don't hate me, Peter, you know what I'm saying? Ivan, you have no idea how scary Aerotel will be, man. I'm like, how scary Mel is. Like, Ivan, how much money are you putting towards visual effects again? Ivan, we rented the best, the best visual effects equipment in the business. And you're pouring six hundred million dollars of that money, as well as a lot of money towards visual effects. That's six hundred million plus. You're looking at like real demonic beings, like AI demons, Ivan. So, something real. How real, uh, Ivan? You know Thanos. You know how he looks very real. Well, think something even three times more real than that. Except he looks more natural, obviously, because he's wearing the mask of costume. Three times scary. Three times more formidable than that. And and and, and remember, my demons of Patrick Christ. Your your these characters in Zanes are gonna make those beings look good, man. You're looking at. Real demons. And Mel Gibson's like, yeah, that's my alley. That's my kind of party. I, mean, I want Eric to be the most horrific being ever. Yeah. Because Mel Gibson's into horror. Yeah, Ivan. I want Eric to them to be the most horrific, scariest creatures ever in movie history. Devils, Ivan. We tell a powerful story. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, Ivan. You and your actors are going to be legends, man. Really? Yeah. You guys are going to be legends, man. Yeah. Mel will even be a legend. Peter will be a legend. Directing those demonic beings. You're going to see Peter and Mel in the documentary. I don't know, psychology interview, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty fine. Is that, is, is, are the masks disturbing you? No, I'm fine. It's a little bit disturbing, but I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? Is it disturbing you a little bit? Yeah, it's a little bit disturbing, obviously. Because they're, they're, they're devils, man. Especially the voice actors. 
who are doing the voice acting for, for Ayrton and all of them, they're going to be affected, man. Because they're wearing demonic masks. As well as the actors. The actors are going to be affected, too. They're going to be wearing demonic masks, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But everyone will be, will be pretty well... I'll ask Peter Melp, should I hire a psychologist or not? I mean, you don't have to hire a psychologist. Are you sure? Fine, I'll even hire one, just in case. Yeah. Because the woman can get a mental breakdown. It's scary shit, man. Looking at... Heath Ledger got affected from playing the psychotic Joker. That affected him. He took pills to help him. He couldn't sleep. He took pills to help him sleep. And he took so much pills, he ended up commit. He ended up... He ended up killing himself. He supposedly... He didn't really commit suicide, but... He what? He pretty much committed suicide. He was stupid. He, he, he overdosed himself on pills, obviously. He was stupid. He didn't really... He didn't commit suicide, but... He kind of did because he overdosed himself on sleeping pills. And he didn't wake up. He was found dead in his in his, in, his, in his hotel or something like that. In 2008, he died. Heath Ledger. Right before The Dark Knight came out. Since I I remember hearing that news when I was like in, going into grade 11. When I was 16 years old, I remember hearing the news. Heath Ledger died when The Dark Knight came. And I remember that when I was like 16 years old. Since I No, I was just saying yes. Like, a male will tell me, oh, I mean, this movie's gonna have crazy old life us, man. You're looking at demons, man. Like, you know, on a world better than James Cameron's Pandora. James Cameron will be envious of Mel. Mel, how much money did I even give you? God, play in $200. Like, holy shit, I wish I had that kind of money in Hollywood. Hollywood can't afford that. They lose money. Only way Hollywood can afford to make a billion two hundred dollars movie is if they price their tickets for like $20, $25. So they'll make their money back. They have to price it for like $20, $22, $23 to make their money back, which they're not gonna do. They're going to stick to 11, 12 standard rate ticket prices, obviously. And that's why Zanis will have that crazy old life buzz. You not only have the, the movie, you also have the game. Rabbit's walking for the game. Crazy old life buzz for that. All right, it's come down to this. All right, it's here. The last hope for Zanis. <laughs> you hear Rabbit talking, though, son. You know, I'm so excited to play this game. The whole world's going crazy for the game, obviously. And you have the crazy buzz for the documentary. So while post-production takes place, the doc will get released. Pre-production and production of the doc will get released. Now release the post-production one later. Obviously. Later. And there will be one crazy for that. And the craziest buzz of all is obviously the movie. The movie will have crazy like buzz. It's going to be crazy. Once it's available for purchase on Amazon, the whole world's going to be lined. You guys are all be lined up with your credit cards. And your, and your, and your, and your what? And your debit cards, you buy my movie. I'll price it for one ninety nine nine. That's affordable for you guys. I don't want to be a greedy pig. One ninety nine nine is affordable for you guys. I'll price it for one nineteen to one ten. Uh, one ten. One oh nine or one nineteen. One oh nine. I was like, Ivan, you're being too nice. I'm like, yeah. If it only costs like twenty five bucks to to, to to create that box set, I'll price it for like one oh nine. One ten to one nine. One oh nine to one ninety nine nine. I'll price it for. That's good enough. It's a good deal for you guys. You get a three movie box set for one hundred and ten dollars or one hundred and nineteen dollars. The merch will be more expensive though. The merch will be more, the, the six posters might be one hundred dollars and the other one might be one forty one fifty. But the frame ones are expensive. That might cost you maybe one fifty even one sixty dollars for six. The frame ones are probably more expensive. One forty one fifty one sixty dollars for the frame ones and the five ill mugs. And that's why I don't want to hear that freedom of bullshit. You guys piss me off. Once my movies, once my, my game's available, Rabbit is walking. You guys are all tuning into that walkthrough. You're all excited. You're, you're tuning into the documentary. Especially the documentary. You guys are all excited. You, you buy all your food. You go on a friend. The world goes on a friends. They buy food. They buy all this food for my documentary. This is going to be crazy. And the same thing for the movie. Yeah, because you guys piss me off. You only made me pay because you want to see me have sex. It's not because of the free money, man. You know, I mean, it's not because of the free money. We want to see you have sex because we know if we let you be with your wife. We're never going to know the side for Ivan and have sex because he's so hot. We can turn us on so much. Yeah, because you're crazy people, obviously. You already saw VJ have sex. Now you want to see me have sex. You think I'm not, You think I'm stupid, guys? You already saw VJ have sex. She's a porn star. You guys all saw her have sex. Obviously. And now you want to see me have sex. You want to see the two gods have sex with your selfish people. And now that you see me and VJ have sex and you killed me, obviously, now you let me be with VJ. Because you saw both of us have sex. You're, you're, you're crazy people. You make my your business was none of your business, obviously. Because you're crazy psychopaths. But I set the whole thing up. The item VJ you got were the item VJ who were not the true item VJ. 
There was a veiled Ivan Reed who did not have the glowing beauty. Ivan who was fat, the Ivan who does not have silver beard, the Ivan who does not have the glowing beauty. The Ivan who the Ivan who does not have a resurrected immortal body. The Vija you saw the beauty who doesn't have the glowing beauty. The Vija who's not as fit. I was like, hey, Vija will get more fit working out with me. She's gonna, she's, gonna, she's already fit now, but she's only gonna get more fit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Vija's gonna get fit for the role of Lithia. She's gonna work out, get fit. Yeah, well, with me, obviously. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna get fit with me, obviously. When we work out the gym, yeah. Holy shit, Vija got more fit. Vija's much harder than she was before with her glowing eyes and glowing skin. Yes, I set the whole thing up. Ivan's much harder. Man, I thought I, the old Ivan was hot. The new Ivan's much harder than the old Ivan. Yeah, with the glowing beard, my full grown beard. You know what I'm saying? And then, holy shit, I, and I lose the weight. I'm skinny now, and I have this new look. And Ivan looks so much more handsome than he did when he was younger. When he was the, the, the one he was uh, uh, a veiled, a poor bum. Because the Ivan we got on camera with his poor was a fat Ivan, man. Yeah, fat Ivan who doesn't have his full grown beard, who doesn't have the glowing beard. And now Vijay gets the Ivan who's jacked. Saying he was holding grass. That's holding up, yeah. Ivan gets the VJ who's going beauty. Ivan gets the VJ who's fresh. Ivan gets the VJ who's more fit. Whereas those men got a trashy VJ who's garbage. Yeah, you garbage deserve You got your trashy sex. And they got a VJ who does not have a going beauty. That's why I set the whole thing up. You, you gotta make a choice. Either you see me and VJ with going beauty and you're saved. But you're never gonna know what's like for Ivan VJ have sex. Or you see both of us as you separate us, but you don't see me and Vijay with glowing beauty. One, 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 one. You don't see me, me and Vijay. You don't get the Vijay with Ivan with glowing beauty. You don't get Ivan with Hogan, but you don't get the upgrade Ivan. The upgrade Ivan and Vijay are, are, are now King Queen. Those people you don't see anymore. Live. I set the whole thing up. Yeah. I'm a genius, man. And Zayn's will have crazy worldwide buzz for Zayn's. Like, John Mayga and all of them are never going to be the same. World, they're going to be world famous, man. Oh my god, John, you look so cool in that trailer. Oh my god, I oh my god, I feel so bad for you guys. Oh my god, Eritat's so scary. And you see some people crying, oh, it's just a moment. Oh my god, he's so scary. I feel so bad for you guys. Are you, were you okay when you were filming? Yeah, we were fine. You know what I'm saying? John, can you please sign my poster? Please? No, say, oh my god, John, I love you in that trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you see, you see John Mayer, he signs the poster. Holy shit, John Mayer is famous. He's well famous in the red carpet. He's signing all these poses. You see pictures trending with John, Avon, Jose, Aaron, Grani, DJ Monsu, worldwide, wherever they go. Once filming's done, they're now trending worldwide, wherever they go. And like fans are gathering around asking for pictures and asking to sign their poses and all that stuff. Because I'm going to release the merch a couple months after production's done. So when John Mayaga and all of them and Avon and all of them travel around the world or go on vacation or hang around London or America or Vancouver, they're gonna, fans are going to ask them for pictures. Hey, can you sign my poster? Hey, I'll sign your poster. I'll say, holy shit, these stars are famous. They're full life famous. Yeah, that's why they're gonna beg. They know they're never they're never gonna get that uh fame in Hollywood. Yeah, I mean I, I felt so on top of the world, man. It was an amazing feeling. That's why they're gonna beg. They don't wanna lose that feeling. It's a good feeling. There's nothing better than being a movie star with I and VG in the, in the biggest place we've ever made. Being a part of that story with Eric and the devils and all that stuff, unheard of worldly, unheard of actors uses. The world's going crazy for the doc and the trailers. You're featuring all these attitudes, the pulses. The world's going crazy. You're a famous movie star. And you know that end. That's ending that. You don't know you're not going to get that. You'll be famous, but it's side fame. And you're going to go back to being dirty slaves and eating shittier food and getting paid way less money. Getting paid less money, is what I'm saying. I talked for a bit longer. I made a 15-minute video. Yeah, hence why these Zayn's actors are going to beg. They're never going to be the same after Zayn's, man. Because even though the greatest hip actors don't hate me, and and, and uh, or the major actors are lucky. They're not as lucky as Zayn's actors. Zayn's actors are lucky, man. They're gonna be a part of that story, that journey, man. You know how Lord of the Rings, you had like the, the you, all those guys were like a family. Yeah, all these guys who are signed are gonna be a part of the Zayn's family, man. And they're gonna be a part of that journey with me, Eretat and all them devils. You have Eretat, you have the wolves, you have a bat, Ephesus, you have the crows, and you also have the curse of ass of the south. They're part of that buzz with me, man. You're going to see all that in the trailers. Yeah. 20,000 demonic wolf army. These actors are going to be part of that buzz with me. You know how you felt for Aragorn and all of them two times when you saw that 10,000 orc high army approaching? Well, think of the army double that size approaching Xanus. <laughs> People have been telling me, yeah, Ivan, if you, if you felt bad for Aragorn and Gimli and all them and Legolas and my two tower war, the world's really going to feel for you as you're looking at a 20,000 demonic army, three times scarier than those orc high and two towers. 
Now, an army twice that size approaching the Saiyans, imagine that. You know, say you're looking at a crazy movie, yeah, it's crazy buzz, yeah, man. You know, it looks like something crazy, yeah, man. Something crazy for the movie. You know, something crazy for the buzz, man, of Zanus. <laughs> Worldwide fame. <laughs> for the game, the doc, and the movie. You have three things. The game, don't forget, you have the game. Which will have crazy white buzz for that too. I'll have crazy buzz. Rab is all nervous as the whole world's watching him, you knows that. And you also have what? The documentary, which will have crazy. That's even crazier, obviously. The documentary will have just as crazy buzz as the movie, pretty much. Because everyone wants to everyone wants to see the behind the scenes of the movie. That's fucking cool. The behind the scenes of the of, 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 of the four years, the five years of Zanus. Fucking cool documentary. And then Pebble movie camera, nice music. Yeah. Something crazy, guys. And that's why you guys are gonna feel that price of being abandoned by God left behind. Did you not feel the price? Yeah. I haven't experienced that worldwide pain in his wife. He's a movie star now. He's living that very life. We're left out of that. You feel like shit. Some of you guys might cry. You feel like total shit. Because you're banned from the glory of God. You Such shitty feeling. That's why when me and VJ walk in the streets, now, some people might tell me, all right, VJ, please forgive me. You know, say we, we, we messed up. Like we made the wrong choice. Yeah, you made the wrong choice. You now feel that price you left behind. You're going to beg forgiveness, but it's too late. You caused this mess, you killed me, and you make fun of the mess behind my back. And so judging your God is set upon the world you left behind, you're not saved. Seems like that's why I was in his ass, I'm gonna beg their asses off. Anyways, it was for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this show. I'm gonna upload this video and enjoy the show with you guys. So I'm the mayor, I'm signing up. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.